I'm going to read you the table of contents of nine lies about work. So at the bottom of page seven, you have the book and the nine lies. Here are the nine lies. Lie number one, people care which company they work for. They don't care. They don't care. What they care about is who's on their team. Lie number two, the best plan wins. Nope, the best plan doesn't win. Intelligence wins. Lie number three, the best companies cascade goals. The bottom line is the average worker doesn't care about the goals. They care about their work. Lie number four, the best people are well-rounded. Is there a soccer fan in the room? This is the story in the book. Lionel Messi kicks the ball ten times with his left foot for every time he kicks it with his right foot. The average is four and a half times to one. His is ten to one. He is not well-rounded, but he is incredible. Number, line number five, people need feedback. The fact is, nobody likes feedback. That was interesting. Lie number six, people can reliably rate other people. You are incapable of rating anybody else on planet Earth, except yourself. Lie number seven, people have potential. Terrible idea. Lie number eight, Work-life balance matters most. Now it doesn't. And lie number nine, leadership is a thing. And I'm going to actually start there. The name of the book is Nine Lies About Work, a free-thinking leader's guide to the real world. So turn to page two in your handout. We do a little jumping around. On the left, what is the point? <clears throat> Don't accept the common wisdom. Chances are the common wisdom is wrong. Maybe the single most important key to business success is build really good teams. Circle that phrase. Build really good teams. This book is crystal clear about that. People do not work for companies. They work for teams. All right. On the, uh, at the top, why is this book worth our time? Number one, we don't know what to measure. This book will help us with that. Number two, <clears throat> we focus on the wrong things towards self-improvement and others' improvement. We work on correcting, or that's not the right word, on improving the areas where we are weak. This book will help us with that. Work on where you are strong. And number three, we evaluate others and seek engagement using the wrong tools. This book will help us with these challenges also. Six lessons and takeaways. Give up measuring others. Work on yourself. Number six, keep growing and learning, but especially in your area of strengths. Nine Lies About Work by Marcus Buckingham and Ashley Goodall. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.